If you've been counting down the days until college basketball comes back, you'd know by now it's pretty close. Today was media day for both of the Kansas basketball teams at Allen Fieldhouse. They got their team photos taken, got in a holiday spirit a little early, and talked about the upcoming seasons. All the buzz is around the true big man the Jayhawks have been waiting for, Hunter Dickinson. But when I asked the Star Center what's been the biggest difference coming from the Big Ten to the Big 12, he didn't talk about play style necessarily. He said it's playing with KJ Adams. That was probably the biggest difference is just having a guy like that on my team um, is, is very unique, but such a special weapon having a guy who's so athletic, but so skilled and so high IQ that you know, it, it'll make, you know, for some matchup nightmares for a lot of people. You know, having to want throw half court lobs to KJ, I, that, that doesn't happen in the Big Ten. You can see that duo in action this Sunday at 5 p.m. on Big Ten Network when they play Illinois to raise funds for the Maui relief efforts. And the women's team is gearing up for what everyone expects to be a big season as well. Fresh off that WNIT title, returning so much veteran scoring and adding a five-star freshman into the mix, it's no wonder why. But their non-conference schedule is no joke. They're playing teams like UConn, Virginia Tech, and Penn State, and they welcome those challenges. I think it, we really are going to have to remind ourselves that our conference, non-conference slate is designed to prepare us to compete for a Big 12 championship. It's the toughest schedule we've ever put together. You know, obviously we want to win every game and we'll set that as a goal. But uh, I think learning what we do well and, and identifying the things that we need to improve on prior to starting play December 30th, I believe, is, is really the goal. They'll start up on November 8th, hosting Northwestern State at Allen Fieldhouse. And